everybody and welcome to another tutorial series on this channel. Uh, so one of the things that you'll see behind me is uh, a new statistics program and that statistics program is doesn't have a fancy splash screen like uh, Jasp and Jamovi. It's actually a very simple program. It is PSPP and you clicked on this video because you saw that it was PSPP. Now, PSPP, what is PSPP? Well, it is a open source, free SPSS alternative. And I'll tell you where the SPSS alternative comes from. Comes from. It's literally in the name. It's the alternate letters of SPSS. So, <laughs> so the PSPP is the opposite of SPSS. And it was designed to look almost identical to SPSS. Even when you open the program, you have um, a grid for lots and lots of variables in the spreadsheet form. You have uh, the items here at the top. And um, you have these, uh, these menu items. And then you have data view and variable view down here at the bottom. I I just think it's it, it, it's 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 literally an SPSS clone, but it's free. The one downside before we get into the series of tutorial videos on how to do various uh, analyses and um, functions in this program is um, the, the downside is, is it's not being updated as much as Jasp and Jamovi are. It's also not based on R, the programming language. Uh, it's, it's not based on that. So it's, it's a different program for a different use. It's almost like it's a... Um, I, you don't want to pay IBM anymore for SPSS or your school doesn't want to pay for IBM anymore. So here we go. This is it. So for this first video, all we're going to do is talk about how to open the uh, files. Now, one of the limitations with uh, PSPP is that the kinds of files that uh, need to be opened are... Uh, or can be opened are very limited. It's not as robust as the other uh, programs that are on the market right now. It's not as robust. So if we want to open a program, we go to open here. So you can see open, you can do, I'm on Mac, so you can do command O or control O. And um, you can uh, open up data and syntax files. You can open up SPSS files, which is great. That's the uh, SAV here. Um, you can open up portable files. You can open up uh, SPSS syntax files because it can it can run and it can read the syntax from SPSS. That's kind of the programming language that it can use as opposed to R. Um, it can read output files. So you can literally import your output from SPSS into PSPP. And then you can um, add to those output files and save them as PSPP outputs. Um, or you can uh, do CSV files. And that's essentially it. But most of the time, we're going to be messing around in Excel, so that's not as bad. So let's open up a, uh, let's open up a CSV file. Actually, let's open up a, a, an SAV file that I have. Okay, so here we have a data file that I uh, have from, uh, this is from grad school that I worked on with an undergraduate student at the time. So it was a, it was a, it was a fun little project. I uh, need to come back to this one. But as you can see, here is all the data. We have um, subject, condition, CRT, so the cognitive reflection test. And if we just scroll here as we go through, you can see more. You can see the, the program sort of struggles with scrolling um, in large data sets. So here we have the tab for the data set. And if we come over here, you can see output here. And it opened up the output. Uh, so I like this little tab form. Uh, it sort of looks like Safari, to be honest. Looks like Safari. So that's what the data 
Um, that's how you open a data set. Uh, like I said, SPSS files, so an SAV, uh, an SPS, uh, or a um, the I always forget the um, SPV is the output and SPS is the syntax. Yeah, so here we have the uh, SPSS data file right here. I could open up the, the out, uh, output. So if I double click on that, it would um, open up the output. And here is what our statistics look like here. And um, it includes all of the syntax. So you could highlight this. Um, I suppose uh, you can go to edit. Yeah. Um, you can select all and that's it. Okay, so you... Because this was created in SPSS, I don't think I can um, copy it in any way. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. You could export, though. We could export to a different file. <laughs> that's how you open up files in PSPP. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and uh, look for more PSPP tutorials in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.